To precisely measure the size of a bore's inside diameter, you will require a dial bore gauge and a micrometer. A dial bore gauge is a precision comparison tool. In order to actually measure the size of a bore, we must first zero the bore gauge to the size that the bore is supposed to be. Look up the specified size of the bore in the service information. This value is often given to us as a range or an allowable tolerance. As a bore will only wear larger during service, it makes the most sense to zero the bore gauge to the maximum allowable tolerance. In this example, we will choose 2.125 inches. Using a properly calibrated micrometer, set the size to 2.125 inches. While holding the micrometer steady, place the dial bore gauge between the anvil and the spindle of the micrometer. Gently rock the dial bore gauge back and forth until the point of perfect square alignment is achieved between the anvil and the spindle of the micrometer. Zero the dial bore gauge here. The dial bore gauge is now perfectly zeroed to our determined size of 2.125 inches. We can now measure the size of our bore. Gently place the dial bore gauge into the bore being measured. Again, we must carefully rock the gauge back and forth to determine the point of which the gauge is perfectly square in the bore. This is indicated by the point where the needle will stop and change directions. This precise point of changing direction is where we will take our measurement. Looking at the face of the gauge, you will notice there is a positive and a negative side to the increments. If our measurement is taken on the positive side of the zero, that tells us our bore is larger than the size we calibrated it to. Readings on the negative side of the gauge indicate that the bore is smaller than the calibrated size. Here are some examples of how to calculate actual bore size after taking a reading with the bore gauge. Let's say that our reading was positive one thousandths of an inch. We would first take the size that the bore gauge was originally zeroed to, 2.125 inches, and add the positive one thousandths of an inch. Total together, this would give us an actual bore size of 2.126 inches. For a second example, let's say our bore gauge reading was negative two thousandths of an inch. We would take our original calibrated size of 2.125 inches and subtract two thousandths of an inch to give us a true bore size of 2.123 inches. It is important to remember when measuring bore sizes, you may be instructed to measure the bore in multiple locations. For example, a connecting rod big end bore needs to be measured in three separate places, not near the cap parting line. Bores will often wear unevenly, so by measuring in multiple places, we will surely find the place where it is worn the worst. Record the largest dimension found during your measurements in your workbook where it asks for bore size. Using a dial bore gauge to measure out of round and taper is much simpler. To find out of round or bore taper, we are only comparing certain dimensions to one another. This time we will simply zero the dial bore gauge in the bore that we are currently measuring. Once the dial bore gauge is zeroed, we can start measuring for out of round. We will measure the bore in three separate places as indicated by the diagram. Remember to not measure near the parting line. Record your results. Subtract the smallest dimension from the largest dimension to determine out of round. In this example, our three readings were zero, one thousandths of an inch, and two thousandths of an inch. The difference between the smallest and largest measurement is two thousandths of an inch. This is how much out of round this bore has. For measuring taper, we will make measurements from a point at the front of the bore and compare that to a measurement taken at the back of the bore, as indicated in this diagram. Record your results. In this example, our two readings were zero and one thousandths of an inch. The difference between the smallest and largest measurement is one thousandths of an inch. 
this bore has one thousandths of an inch of taper.